So you're coming to Costa Rica and you want to know the do's and the don'ts? Stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story because that's just what we're going to talk about. Hey there and welcome to Costa Rica Story. And this episode was a requested episode. I had a lot of people, I've had a lot of people ask me advice for when they come to visit Costa Rica or if they're coming to move to Costa Rica kind of what to do or what not to do in Costa Rica. So I went to Indomitos today and I, I was making a little list. I was gonna do a top 10, but I ended up with about 30. So I have my little notebook with me and uh, I'm gonna work off the notebook because I can't remember all this stuff. All right. And remember, it's all subjective. This is kind of, it's my take on things and it's my take on this area some of the things may be specific to my area because it is a tourist area here. Some of them are, some of the things here are obvious and some of them are not so obvious. And another point I, got, I need to make at the moment, I, I didn't put any uh, bug spray on. I'm in the jungle, but so far so good. <laughs> it's one of my points too. Make sure you uh, put your uh, bug spray on if you need it. So the number one thing, and these are not in any particular order, but this is an important one, is uh, bring a water bottle with you. And I'm not talking like a disposable water bottle, but a, a reusable water bottle, because some of the parks, they won't let you in with a water bottle that's a disposable plastic. So make sure you have your water with you. If you're going on a drive, make sure you've got water with you on the drive, hike, drive, you're gonna go into town, bring a water bottle with you. I've got one, I've got a nice little host, holster that I, I carry a water, water bottle with. And of course, don't feed the wildlife. They tell you that in every park you go to. One here I, I don't hear people talk about much is don't waste electricity. I see people when they come and they stay at a hotel, they're like, okay, I'll just leave the door open with the air conditioner on. I'm not paying for it, you know, but just don't do it. Don't waste, it's not a cool thing to do. Electricity is expensive here. And it's just not good for the environment to have to have as much drain on electricity. Something to think about. A lot of people don't really think about. All right, and here's an important one. Don't drive crazy when you get here because you'll see a lot of people driving crazy and you think, oh, that's how we're supposed to drive. But especially in town, but really all over because there's school zones all, all across most, uh, most roads here because there's a lot of small uh, schools. There's not a there's not a lot of centralized schools throughout the country. Even here on my road, just like two days ago, there's a little dog that was run over by a, a couple of tourists that were just being careless and they ran the dog over. Week before, there was another one killed in Bahia. I happened to be going by on my bicycle to see the poor little thing laying there on the road. So for that reason, don't drive crazy because you could hit somebody's pet or you could hit a person or you could get yourself into into an accident and there's also a lot of potholes here so drive slow just slow it down you're you've got time to get there don't worry about it it's not worth hurting somebody or yourself and here's one for people that are maybe walking on a, a public road to go to maybe the one of the parks or just in the neighborhoods don't walk out in the middle of the road like you're at Disneyland because it's not Disneyland it's these roads are driven by people going to work um, just traveling around for for your own safety don't walk like three or four abreast as you're walking down the road if, even if you're going to uh, like one of the whale tail entrances that's a really good example because people drive crazy on that road sometimes and you don't want to be out there like in the middle of the road it's it's not uh, it's not a path at Disneyland it's a road so keep that in mind. And this is common sense and it should be a given, but don't throw your garbage out where it doesn't belong. It belongs in a garbage can in the basura. Uh, I see a lot of people with cigarette butts throwing them wherever they want to throw them. And that's, that's not cool. And that's just not cool. I see sometimes people will get a, a agua de pipa, uh, you know, a coconut water, and they'll, they'll just, it's fine. The, the coconut itself is fine. If you're gonna throw that in the jungle or something, fine. But there's, if it's a plastic straw, you know, that has to be disposed of properly. And that brings me to another tip. Think about purchasing a, a metal straw. I think they're really cool. They're great for uh, drinking agua de pipa, pipa fria. 
And in, in Costa Rica, they don't offer straws all the time, you know, for drinks. You know, the, if you ask for a straw, they'll give you one, but they're not something that they, they hand out the way they do, like in the United States, for example. But the metal straws are really cool, and they usually come with a little cleaning thing in the middle. So uh, you can get them at a lot of the stores. They sell them at the restaurant here in town in, in Domitos. So that's, that's a cool little investment, they're environmentally friendly. And when you buy it in Domitos, a certain amount goes to uh, an environmental charity. So that's, a, that's an extra bonus. Okay, here's one I've noticed, like this time of year, when the tourists start to come into town, it, which is, it's, I mean, it's just been starting the last two or three weeks. There's a lot of people that, a lot less eye contact, a lot of people that just don't look happy. You know, they're, it's like, I don't know what it, there is about it, but just, you know, smile and wave because that's kind of what people do here in Uvita anyways. It's a small town and you know people are, are, are friendly. So be friendly if you want. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to be friendly, but if you're friendly, it'll, it'll be better for you, I think. My opinion, again, my opinion. And here's one I struggle with even though my Spanish learning ability is really horrible, I'm always trying to speak Spanish. So when you're here, attempt to use Spanish as much as you can, even if you're not fluent. People appreciate that. And another thing too, when you're walking up and you, you see a, a gringo here that, you know, they're a gringo, you don't go, hi, go, hola, como estas? You know, I, that always boggles my mind why gringos always default to their native language when they run into each other if they're trying to learn Spanish. So use that Spanish whenever you can. Here in Ovita, as well as a lot of other places here in, in Costa Rica, they're very pet friendly and kid friendly. That being said, it's your responsibility to keep your kids and your pets as well behaved as possible. And I realize sometimes that's not possible to do that. For an example, if you're making an effort in a restaurant to keep your kids from running amok in there, it's, it's appreciated. But there's, you know, some people just come to a restaurant, they let their kids run around and, uh, you know, bother other people's tables. I was in a restaurant recently and these kids were picking up gravel from the floor and they were dropping it on the table and on the chairs, making a huge noise and making a filthy mess. And the parents just kind of ignored it. I mean, so if you're a parent and you have kids, if you're making an effort to make the kids behave, it's, it is appreciated by the rest of society. Muchas gracias. And also if, if you're in a restaurant and they say the dogs are welcome, but they're supposed to be on a leash, Make sure they're on a leash because your dog isn't special. Your dog needs to be on a leash if that's, if that's what's requested. Like I say, it's, Uvita is very dog friendly, very kid friendly. It's a place to be for taking your kids and your dogs, but just do your part, make sure everybody behaves. And here's the next one. Get rid of the ear pods or whatever musical device you listen to. There's so much to hear here. You're walking on a path, there's, a, there's the jungle. You're walking on the beach, there's all the beat sounds. You miss out on a lot. I mean, I, I love music as, as much as the next person, but having those pods and you're, you're just missing out on so much. And also it's a safety thing by the road because your, your hearing is really vital to keeping from getting run over. Okay, sunscreen is, and bug spray, as I mentioned before, make sure that if you don't bring it with you, you get some here and have it handy in case you need it. I lucked out here so far. I haven't, the mosquitoes aren't bad today for some reason. Um, I don't know, I don't know about the hormigas, the ants, they will get me eventually. They usually do. And here's another topic I see discussed quite often and it's about tipping in Costa Rica. Don't be afraid to tip. I, I know a lot of times there is a tip included in the bill, but if you get good service and you can afford it, why not tip? Because the people here do not make a lot of money in that industry. So tip, it is very, very much appreciated. Know the schedule of the tide. If you're anywhere near the ocean, you need to know the schedule of the tide for a few reasons. A lot of times the features you're gonna access, for example, the whale tail, it's at low tide, that's, that's the time to go there because you can see the whole whale tail, all the sand is exposed. And if you're going to Ventanas, Playa Ventanas, the, uh, you can access the sea cave more readily. And another reason to know the low tide is that's when it's going to be more crowded. If, like if you're at the whale tail, it'll be more crowded at uh, low tide, most likely. So be aware of the tide schedules. There's a website called Magic Seaweed, and uh, you know, put your location in the search bar, and it'll tell you what the high tide and low tide is for the day. 
Oh, here's another piece of advice. If you're in Costa Rica and you feel something crawling on your foot, always, always check it because it could be an ant ready to bite you. So make sure you uh, don't ignore the little creepies on your feet. It's hot here and you tend to sweat a lot. So a change of clothes, if you're going on a trip somewhere, maybe having a little change of clothes in the car with you, you know, not in a suitcase or anything, but you just let loose in the car because you don't want to leave things in the car. We'll get that to that next. Have a backup plan for everything. And this includes your plans for the day because it may rain or may not rain and you may have to adjust and it, it can change several times throughout the day. So you have to be able to adapt to that. Also have different, different ways of, of paying for things, different ways of, of getting money, maybe a couple of different cards for the ATM. Just have some backup plans because you never know what things may work and what may not work. Your mindset is really important when you, when you come here because things are not always the way that you envision they're gonna be. So keep that in mind. Don't overextend yourself as far as looking at the map and saying, oh, we need to do this, we've got a week and we're, we need to do this, 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 this. You don't wanna spend your whole time in your car traveling. I would recommend reducing travel time as much as possible and spend some time in you know, an area for a while so you get to know it a little bit. And maybe next time you come to Costa Rica, you can go to the other places because uh, there's a lot of places to see and it, there's a temptation is, oh, we need to see it all. But you don't wanna spend your whole vacation on the road. Don't flash your cash, which means it sounds obvious, but for instance, if you have a wallet and all your money's in your wallet, don't have, if you're going to go pay for something small, don't like flash all your cash and then, you know, to take out your small bill, have some small bills in your pocket. And when you need to pay for something small, like at a market or a small business, you can just go in and you've got a few one mil bills or two mil bills or some coins in your pocket. So you don't want to have expose your whole wallet to anybody that uh, happens to be looking. Leave your fancy jewelry and all that stuff at home. You don't need it here. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to be seen as somebody that may have money because that's an indicator. Other than the fact that you're a gringo, you're already assumed to have money. So you need to, you know, Tone it down a little bit. You don't need the jewelry. A lot of people lose their jewelry here because you're doing active things. You know, you go to the beach, jumping off a waterfall. Do your research before you come here to Costa Rica. Make sure you learn all you can. But at the same time, take any advice that you get from anybody, like on YouTube or on especially Facebook. Take that with a grain of salt. Anything you hear from me, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's, it's, you get a lot of people's opinions and opinions vary and perspective, perspectives vary. So take it with a grain of salt. It's not gospel. Anything you hear is not necessarily gospel. Leave your country's politics at home. People here don't want to hear about it. I know I don't want to hear about it. You know, we, we all may have opinions about certain things, but I definitely don't want to hear people talk politics and most people I know do not want to hear your take on your country. Avoid driving at night if possible. It's not always possible, but if you can avoid driving at night, especially at night in the rain, do that because at nighttime you can't see a lot of the things in the road. Like there's well, not just potholes, but there's there could be landslides, there could be just rocks in the road. and. People at nighttime, a lot of times, they don't have reflective clothing on. Bicycles don't have reflectors. Sometimes you could uh, run across a motorcycle without headlights on. So if you can avoid driving at night, don't drive at night. Come to Costa Rica with an open mind. A lot of the things that you think are true may not be true. So talk to the people, find out what things are like here, and you know, drop some of the stereotypes you may have ingrained into your brain. You hear a lot of people on, on YouTube and, and on Facebook talking about, you know, their perspective of things. Don't be critical of the way things are done here, saying that it's done better in your country. Nobody cares how it's done in your country. This is, this is Costa Rica. Things are done in a way for their own reasons here. Maybe it's something you understand or you don't understand, but nobody wants to hear that your way is better. So save that. And be aware that there's a lot of poverty in Costa Rica. So there's a lot of people living in actual true poverty, 
paycheck to paycheck and uh, struggling financially. And there's also uh, an influx of refugees from Venezuela that are causing some issues here. You'll maybe even see at a grocery store or, or even an ATM uh, panhandlers with signs asking for money. If you're going out for a day trip or a, a hike somewhere, make sure you let somebody know where you're going, whether it be somebody at your hotel or family or friends. Let somebody know what your plans are for the day so if you don't return, they know to go send help, go look for you. Don't leave anything of value in your car. And this is, it's a no brainer and everybody should know this, but it happens every day. There's a, like it happens at the supermarket, it happens at the beach, it just happens anywhere. You just don't leave anything of value in your car, plain and simple. Even if you're going for two minutes, no, you just don't do it because the, the thieves here are very professional. They know exactly what they're doing. Don't leave anything in your car. Just, just imagine at all times that somebody's waiting for you to get out of your car so they can come in and steal your stuff. And the reality is nine times out of 10, you can get away with it, but it's just gonna be that one time when you don't and it's not worth the, the risk. The odds are not in your favor long-term. Okay, WhatsApp and Waze are a must-have for your phone. WhatsApp is how everybody communicates in Costa Rica, even businesses, so you need WhatsApp. And for navigation, if you happen to be driving, um, Waze is the way to go. And uh, one cool thing is you can send somebody a pin, a location pin from WhatsApp, and they can open it up in Waze, and it'll take you right to uh, the place you're going. So that I really, that's really useful to me. But you do have to be careful with Waze, even though it is the best navigation app in this area, in my opinion. Sometimes it, it could tell you, uh, you know, to take a left turn where there's no left turn to be taken. So you have to, you have to be aware. You have to uh, be mindful when you're using that. I highly recommend getting some of the local uh, currency, the Colony, and also having some small bills like a two mil bill and a one mil bill, have several of those in your pocket. So if you go to the farmer's market or a small business somewhere, you can you know, give them smaller change so they don't have to break a huge bill because it's, you know, they can't always do that. And a lot of the small businesses don't accept credit cards. A lot of them do, but don't expect everybody to accept credit cards, even in a tourist area. You need to be very mindful when you're walking on the sidewalks and the roads here in Costa Rica, here in Uvita, because for one thing, there's a lot of really deep drainage ditches for when it rains, because when it rains here, it rains hard, fast, and furious. So there's really humongous um, ditches. And there's also big potholes that you'll, you'll walk into, and sometimes there's a crumbly sidewalk. And other times it could be a construction project where the only thing that's separating you from falling into a, a deep hole is a, a piece of yellow tape. So Costa Rica doesn't tend to be as idiot proof as the United States. The United States kind of is like, expects some, everybody to do the stupidest things. Here in Costa Rica, you're kind of expected to be a little bit more responsible. And here's a really important one. When you come here with your phone, sure, you can take your, a few pictures and stuff, but don't, don't spend your whole time like this. You know, put your phone down, take your pictures, Get your moments, then put the phone away and be in the moment. The same is true about conversation. Don't be in some conversation about, you know, some project you're working on at work or somebody back home that really irritates you or something like that. Live in the moment, like get in the moment, be in the moment. Look where you are, you know, enjoy the moment. Put the phone down, forget about all your other troubles, Ex experience it. There's very deep ditches because it rains very hard here, and deep, deep ditch, deep ditches, deep ditch, deep. Son of a bitch. So be aware of the tide schedules. There's a, a website called. Uh, all the time. There's a website called Magic Seaweed that includes 
how you get your money, how you're going to pay for things. Oh, bug. Stupid bug. Am I recording? I think I am. I think I'm recording. You may experience and so I forgot to record my intro and my outro when I was doing my segment today. So I had to come back here. It's almost dark. The bugs are out. Uh, here's the trail I was, I've been working on. The trail to the tree. What are some things you should do and not do here in Costa Rica? Stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story. Find out. So you're coming to Costa Rica and you want to know some good do's and don'ts. Well, stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story and we'll explore that. Well, that's all I've got for this episode of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. But most importantly, tell a friend about this video. Let them know Costa Rica Story is here. Hasta luego. Mm -hmm.